Hello all, welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to talk about the Studio Agaka Khan and Galen Leather collaboration. This pin here is the Studio Agaka Khan X Galen. This is the version one. Studio Agaka Khan is a pin studio based in Istanbul, Turkey. Galen Leather is also located in Turkey. I'm not sure if they're in Istanbul, but they are in Turkey. Uh, Studio Gaka Khan handcrafts all of their pins using special resins. Currently, as of today, which is May 21st, 2023, there were about 36 different resins, resin colors to choose from. The prices range from $160 to $195. They offer Yovo number no. 6 nibs on their pins. There's also a 14 karat option. The steel nibs range from extra fine to fine to medium to broad and 1.1 stubs. There are also italic fine to medium and broads and oblique medium and broads. So they pretty much offer something for everyone. So mine has a fine number six Yovo nib. So I tend to prefer fines. The resin is a Jonathan Brooks Bohemian Twilight resin. You see there has some mixtures of some bluish greens, some copper, some darker blues, maybe a little black. At the top of the finial, we have a gold plated sterling silver embossed finial. And this is a uh, represents um, the son Kagan. I hope I'm saying his name right. And his mother. Zainab. I don't know if you know the story of Galen Leather, but Zainet, Zainep, Z-E-Y-N-E-P. She founded the company and unfortunately she lost her battle with cancer. She had a rare cancer that affected her neck area and she passed away in 2019. So that is her stooping before her son, which I thought was, um, really nice. I didn't know um, what that was. I thought it was a father and son. And then I went on their site and read about her story. I know I knew a little bit about her story before, but then I read it and I actually saw this was a depiction of a picture, an actual picture of the two together. So this is a rather resin, Jonathan Brooks Bohemian Twilight. There's nothing at the infinial. And it's totally smooth. There are no facets. And there is Zainab and her son, Kagan, having a moment. Again, that is gold plated over sterling. There is the section and the threads. You have a little bit of a curve right there for your fingers to fit in. And there's the nib again. Same nib and Kagan. And there's the feet. I believe this may be an ebonite feed. I'm not sure. It uses a uh, standard Schmidt converter, screwing converters. It also uses some um, standard cartridges. You can also eyedropper this. A little nib and feed. Actually, that may be a plastic feed. So, very beautiful pen. So, if you use the cartridge, you get about 1.7 mils of ink. Converter, you get 1.2 mils. And if you eyedropper this, which I haven't tried yet, you get 4 mils of ink. I'll put the weight and dimensions on the screen, um, but this is a fairly light pen, very fairly average size pen, I would say. Here it is with a, you see it rolls, no roll stop or anything. Here it is with a Momento Zero, Leonardo Momento Zero. Then we have it with a Pilot Custom 823. And then your usual Pilot Metropolitan. And 
I would say it's about the same as the Leonardo. A little bit shorter than the palette 823. Let me zoom in a little bit. Unpost it. And this pin does post. But I'm just going to show you unposted, which is how I write with it. Unpost it. Here we are unposted and it is about the same as the custom A23 unposted. It's a little bit girthier than all of them, but uh, not really out there as far as size. Pretty. A little bit on the bit bigger side, but not, not very big. If you like uh, a Memento Zero, it's pretty, it feels like it's pretty much the same. So that's it for size comparisons. And again, I'll put the weight and actual dimensions on the screen. So the ink that I have in here today, let me zoom in for you. So the ink that I'm using is J. Urban Emerald de Chavour, one of my favorite greenish inks. And so this is the I think I'm spelling it wrong. Agak Akan Studio X Galen. And the X Galen just implies that it's a Galen collaboration. And let me actually spell it right. It's A G A C K G A K A K A N Studio with a Y. And this is version one. So I'm assuming or hoping there will be a version two. So again, we have the Agaka Khan Studio. The nib is a fine stainless steel. And the ink, J.R. Bond, Emerald D. Chivore. And Emerald D. Chivore has a nice, you can see there, nice sheen to it. And it comes out here as so it gets lighter, kind of a bluish green. So it goes from a deep green with some sheen and shimmer to kind of a bluish green, light blue green. Very beautiful ink. You can see there. So as far as pros and cons, the only con um, that I really have with this pen, as I said, is that there, there is no roll stop. So there are no facets, so it does roll. But other than that, it's just beautiful. I paid one eighty-five for this one. And let's see. So to check the turns, I'm gonna use this as a guide. So we have one. about one and three quarters turns to get it uncapped. But yeah, no, no real cons. It could use a roll stop. Um, I'm happy that it doesn't have a clip. 
but it's been using it's been handling the emerald de chivore pretty well you can see the the shimmer there on the on the feed but um, I haven't had any issues with this pen it's been an excellent smooth rider the whole time that I've had it I've had it for it's going on three months I think no leaks or any other performance issues it's comfortable to write with it's just a quality build and your hands just fit right into this little groove here you have a little indentation right here and your hands just fit in there very nicely at least mine do so there's no sliding there's no rough edges here so yeah, all in all, I have really no nothing but good things to say about this pen. And this pen, actually, I didn't mean to buy. Let me go. And this is um, this is Marcy from Marcy Me, her her YouTube channel. I bought this after buying another pen. I'm gonna hold on one sec. I'm gonna go get this other pen. That's also Marcy's fault. So a while back, Marcy did a review video of this pen, and I really have a hard time resisting blue pens and a blue demonstrator of that. So when I saw this pen, this is the Galen X Narwhal Original. So it's another Galen collaboration, but this time with Narwhal. And this is the Midnight Blue. So when I saw Marcy's review and I just saw the blue, and I'm just such a sucker for blue. I just couldn't resist it. So I think I was probably about a minute into her review when I went on Galen's um, website to see, to check out these. And these are only like 50 some dollars. So I bought this and I said, like, well, they're going to be shipping from Turkey. It really, it's a waste of resources. This is what I'm saying to myself. It's a waste of resources. To just buy one fifty dollar pen and have them ship it all the way over here from Turkey. So let me see what else they have. What other notebook holders or whatever they have. So then I saw this. And so yeah, thanks Marcy. Both of these are your fault. I know you're saying Terry, but you can control your own <laughs> buying habits. No, but that's foolish talk. When it comes to blue pens, I have no control. And when it comes to Jonathan Brooks Bohemian Twilight and other Jonathan Brooks resins, I also have no control. So I'm happy to bring this on Marcy and take absolutely no personal responsibility whatsoever. But this also is a very nice pen. I'll do a writing sample and stop throwing Marcy under the bus. So this is the Galen X Narwhal Original. And this is also a fine steel knit. And the ink in here. This may be either, I know it's Birmingham Pen Company. I'm thinking it's Tesla Coil. It's either Tesla, Tesla Coil or Blue Bonnet. So, there is the Galen the Birmingham Pen Company ink in there and I can show you this I really won't do a review of this I, I love the pen go to see Marcy's video of it I can't really add to anything that she said there she did a good job on her reviews as always so thank you Marcy and thanks to everyone who watches my videos and takes time to comment as always i appreciate all of you 
and thank you for watching and until next time everyone take care